Hey guys, um, let's do a garden tour. You wanna? Come with me, come on, let's go. Hey guys, Tina here with The Journey Garden. And um, I know it's been a while since I've uh, said anything and I just figured I'd give you an update on uh, some of the happenings around here. Oh, you just spilled your water, goats. So, I did get two goats. She just spilled her water, so I had to bring her some more. So this is Callie. actually one two three Rhode Islands um, so we've been able to have regular eggs because my hens since they're all silkies all want to be broody hi baby yeah these uh, goats they were bottle babies so they're super sweet and very very friendly and needy <laughs> and then um, we have a lot of things happening in the garden as I'm sure you can imagine at this point, since I haven't been on here for a while to talk to you guys. I will say that this has been the most difficult year starting my garden ever, and I quit weeding it already, and it's just the beginning. So I have to get back on weeding, but it's very, 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 very bad right now, so don't judge me. Um, got three rows of corn. I have a double uh, red corn over here and then over here I have atomic orange and then I just have regular sweet corn over here and I have a bunch of extra tomatoes that I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with and then I have a couple of rows of beans I have a few bush beans over here again I know I really 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 have got to get on top of this grass situation um, and in the middle I put some tomatoes so I wanted to show you look how cool that is they're climbing up the trellis you see? I have several different kinds I have Kentucky Wonders um, I have Thai Soldiers Scarlet Runners Sunset Runners Over here I have a lot of um, dragon tongue bush beans and I think another purple one if it survived. We had some weather happen and so, oh look, oh something ate it. Got a first bean, maybe another one, but then you can see something came and ate. Which, it was probably my goats, honestly. I had to chase the goats out of here like four times already. So now, that's why the electric fence stays on. And then I have more tomatoes because I didn't know what to do with all the millions of tomatoes that I had and they didn't sell. So, so we'll see. I know I'm going to get this grass situation taken care of. These three rows, one, two, three, have uh, little ochres. So, I had some more, several more, a whole tray that was half okra and half um, marigolds. And the last big storm that we had came in and pretty much knocked my tray over and killed everything. So that was fun. And then I have a new Mother's Day surprise over here, which has been really exciting. I 
had um, some leftover greenhouse material that I put around the chicken coop when it snowed. And I now put this on the bottom and we're starting to rock it. So I'll actually have a walkway. Um, oh no, a Cherokee purple. Sorry guys. So we have probably almost half of it done from here to over there is done. And now we just have to like go down the aisles. So here I have a couple of peppers. I don't really remember which ones are which. I have two sweet corbachi, I think, and some uh, sugar rush peach ones as well. And I don't know, these guys flowered. I don't see any pepper babies yet though. Um, so I have turkey purple, banana plant, another banana plant. I have several kinds that made it through the frost over here. Pepper that I need to seriously weed everything. Now, there's another pepper. I'm working on this this week. Um, I had a whole ton of lettuce and the goats got in here when they came in. I hope you can hear me, it's super windy. And the goats got in and ate everything down multiple, multiple times. So I was very sad and um then they everything started bolting so i'm gonna pull what's left of the lettuce out i took a lot of it out this weekend but uh, this week i'll take the rest of it out and then i have little baby squash popping out and then i might possibly have some baby watermelon i don't know i don't see any of the baby watermelon popping up and then we have some comfrey, which is a medicinal herb. Um, it's really great. Um, it helps with pains and uh, quote unquote bone healing. I don't know about that. I haven't tried it, but it does definitely help with my uh, pains that I have. I just make it, I don't make it into a sap. I bought a sap and I rub it on where it hurts. And I'm hoping to be able to plant some of these have planted along the edges garlic and I don't see any garlic popping up over here. I planted two kinds. This is supposed to be over here. And um, one kind did not come up at all. I'll show you in a minute um, what which one popped up. I do forget what it's called. just a little baby mint now it's huge I think I'm gonna have to take some of that out and then I'll plant something else in there and then plant something in those as well and I'm supposed to have flowers all along in here but it's just very weedy right now so we'll see what happens I may or may not get to that this weekend then um, we have these ginormous onions right here that are Cortland onions and they get massive and I mean they look pretty big right now but actually they're not um, they just have really big stalks um, although I might go ahead and take them because they're starting to get escapes and then I have some smaller bunching onions throughout here as well and then this bed. These are the garlic that made it. I think they're called early Italian garlic. I did half with this and the other half with the same kind that I did in the other bed that you can tell just hasn't sprouted for whatever reason. Um, it was called 
in chili and red, I believe. And, um, let's see if we can do this without breaking the net. I think this, maybe not this, no. There's one in here that I saw of the Enchilium red. I don't even know where it's at because there's grass. So I'm going to get in here and weed it when I take out the rest of the lettuce. But I also have more squash. If you can't tell, we really love squash. Squash and okra are staples at our house in the summertime. And then I have um, that 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 and that sugar babies that i actually purchased from the store starts because my starts did not do well last year and i've already got a little baby flower might have a baby watermelon pop out there's another flower so i might have some watermelons soon um over here i have some tomatoes as well i have over 30 tomatoes not as many sold as I had hoped to that I started. So I was just like, meh, we'll grow them, see what happens. Can them, freeze them, or sell them. I also have these uh, sweet potatoes, which I've never grown before. Um, I'll probably end up having to put more dirt in here. I don't know. I've never really done sweet potatoes. So we'll see what happens. And then... I do have a really special place to show you. So I have these two t bananas. You know, I try to start bananas and it seriously didn't work for me. So um, I bought a couple four total from the store. And in here, Miss Kaylee Bug planted one two, three pumpkins. She wanted to plant some pumpkins, so I let her go for it. You can also see that these have leftover carrots from last year that didn't grow, and they decided to overwinter and go ahead and grow. So, um, I don't know how long I'll let those go um, because of the pumpkins, but also, if you see this little baby right there, I planted a few flowers in here too, just to make it pretty. And then I bought a couple of peach trees. Um, I'm also, I have a fig tree that I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant this guy kind of in this area, this guy in this area, and then another one right over here and probably push the bananas up to the fence. Um, so that's the front garden. And then I have my dogs being pitiful. They're like, why am I outside? I'm supposed to be inside with you. What's wrong, baby girl? Did I leave you outside? Do you fend for yourself? This is my old lady, Zoe. She's 13. She's precious. She's the sweetest dog in the world. Oh yeah, she thinks it's time to go inside. Let me let her in. And then over here we have the troublemaker. Come here, pretty girl. Come here. Miss Maddie Lou. What are you doing, pretty girl? Let's go inside. Let me get you off that leash. Nope, come here. Let me get you off the leash. Good girl. She is our escape artist. That's why she is the reason why we have to put them on tie outs when they go outside because she will just run away chase every little thing all right um i have several fig trees right here citronella these are just babies obviously this guy is pretty big another citronella and then i have this hydrangea that i was gifted after my father passed away from my job and i thought it died when everything froze here in texas because it just looked like it died. But I kept watering it. I didn't give up hope. And now it's come back. You can still see it has some of the dead leaves on it. But look. It's about to bloom. How pretty is that? And I've never had those before. So I'm hoping they'll make it. I also have some lovely pineapple sage. 
and some lavender that I think I'm gonna have to get out of the sun because it gets really hot up here. Um, and then we have, this is whenever this big storm came and knocked everything over and killed it. This was the sad tree. Um, that behind there, I don't even remember what that is. Let's see. Uh, this is bee balm. I honestly forgot it was there because it was behind the tree. So that's my bee balm. Wondering where that went to. So uh, these are all some um, pine trees of some sort. I forget which ones. I'd, I'll have to look it up. But they're all starts and I'm hoping that they get really big. And then I have some rosemary that I bought from the store and some parsley and then Kaylee planted some grass in her class and so she has a little grass that she's been watering as well as this, where go? this guy it is the little flower that she's been watering that she got from school which hasn't nothing's happened yet so we'll see what happens and I also have some sickly looking plants and I have never had azaleas before, so um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But this guy looks pretty sick. This one did too, but it's coming back. They're so beautiful. And then, like I said, this guy just looks really sad. So I've been watering it. It was out in the sun, and now I know that it's supposed to get some shade. So I put it over here to get some shade, and it hasn't bounced back yet. But this one has, so hopefully soon. And then... These were so big and beautiful, and now they look very sad. Uh, these are my deep violet pansies. They were almost black when I got them, and they were so big and beautiful, and I've had them for a while now, and now they just kind of look like poo. So I guess I'm going to have to do some more research and see what I need to do with that, because they were so beautiful. I'd hate for them to die. And I know everything's messed right now. I don't really care. This is my year for not caring <laughs> what the garden looks like too much. Um, so I have some sunflower seeds that popped up. That I'm pretty sure is poke salad. And I'm pretty sure this is poke salad, both of these. And I'm going to chop them down because I don't like those and they're toxic. Um, I have some really pretty lantanas that I had bought from the store. And I forget what these really pretty flowers are called. Starts with the S. Uh, salvia. Yeah. Whenever they get full, they're really beautiful. I like this guy. Oh, there's a red one and a white one over there. Another lantana. And a whole bunch of other just random little flowers that you can see sprouting up. And I know I need to get all this grass out again. This is the air that. I'm doing what I can. Um, usually I either let it completely go and don't do anything at all, or I plant tons of flowers and make sure that it's like spotless with no grass or weeds, but this is not a regular year. So that isn't what's going to be happening this year. I'm just taking it slow. Um, I have some thornless blackberries, which were big and huge and had tons and tons of blackberries on them. And my goats, when they got out, destroyed them. So, we'll see what happens. And then I have these gorgeous dahlias that I need to deadhead. But, look how pretty that is. It's just so pretty. And then, in the greenhouse. Way back here. Oh, real quick. Squirrel! No. I have um, apple trees, three apple trees, and they've actually been producing some little baby apples. You see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's at least six, if not more, on this guy. And then over here, I haven't seen any. My little fig tree that I had planted right over here didn't make it through the winter. Um, you don't see any at all on this one. 
but since I got that one, the other two started producing, so I know that you have to have, these are Molly's Delicious, and that one I believe is a Fuji, and you have to have a pollinator for it, because they do not self-pollinate. And then I have, the wind is blowing, I hope y'all can hear me. Two more here, and I thought I saw more the other day, but very excited to have apples this year. I know they'll just be little baby apples probably, but I'm still really excited about it. So I'm going over here to the greenhouse and just like everything this year, it is a weedy mess and I don't really care because it's growing food and I'm working on it and I'm working on me, and that's all I can really do, all right? So let me turn you around. So here we have some food growing, very exciting. Got carrots here, all different kinds, all different colors. And all my strawberries, I just picked some there and then I have some over here as well with my kale. I got dino kale, purple kale, and then my Russian kale. I have some gifts up here of orange watermelon peppers and cantaloupe that a, a nice lady down the road gave to me when I gave her some tomato plants. And then I have some starts up here that I think I might have to do something else with because I kind of gave up on them and they're not starting to look so great. I also have squash here. I planted some babies in here too. I had more that were growing in here, but they all died except for this one. And there is a baby squash right there. This is patty pan squash. It's the first time I've been able to grow it successfully. So I also have an herb tower here with lots of different things. And my potatoes that are in this container. So they're starting to die back. So I think they're almost ready. I checked on the other day. I had a couple of like small ones and I had a couple of like bigger ones. So that is all I have for today. Um, the wind is really starting to pick up. Oh, and I have a mosquito on me. Um, I'm gonna try to get on here a little bit more. Um, I know I haven't been able to be on. Um, got a, we've had a lot of life happen this year. <clears throat> had lots of, well, in the past year and a half, we've had a lot of really great, great things happen and a lot of really sad, sad things happen. And so I'm just trying to deal with it one day at a time trying to support the rest of my family as we go through this together and <clears throat> I hope that you are all doing well you will have to forgive me this wind just got me all crazy um tomorrow's mother's day so I want to wish you all a happy mother's day look at that beautiful sunset behind me and um I just want to say happy mother's day I hope everyone is doing well and um, I encourage you to get in the garden and grow, even if you have to do like I did and just let some of the weeds take over until you can get in a place where you're able to remove the weeds because I don't have it in me to get in there right now, but I'm working on it. I'm working on myself and I plan on getting out there soon and doing that. So I want to um, bid you well. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.